So, number one was the Clapton Heritage Trail, Jaywick Sands. Jaywick Sands History, Jaywick Miniature Railway. The Jaywick Miniature Railway, the railway track is right there to it. That is the actual railway track to the Jaywick Railway. And the station used to be right there. And that was the station office right there. And that's the Jaywick History. So, as motoring grew popular, as motoring grew popular amongst London's middle classes, adventurous interpreter Frank Stedman came looking for an imaginary the summer pleasure Jaywick and it's because it offered and per look at that. As chalet was sold for 30 pounds, Frank built West Road to improve links to Clapton the Sea. As years passed, people began to live there for longer periods. And small businesses such as stocks become established, saving the growing serving the growing population. Jaywick Sands and its various parks, grasslands, brooklands, the village and Matilda Estate gradually become residential. Beautiful. And then the Jaywick Miniature Railway. Jaywick Miniature Railway, Raymond Reginald Stedman's idea, Frank Stedman's son, was opened on the 31st of July 1936 by Mr Newton. And with a cream roof, the train had three fitted carriages with electric lights and ran 12 hours every day. Connecting to crossroads more than a mile away from Jowett Sands, the train ran at 20 miles an hour, putting three carriages and carried up to 50 passengers, totaling 2,000 daily during peak periods. The original route closed in 1939, but in 1949 the lower half reopened for that summer only, roughly midway around the 180 degree track. And there it is. It's so nice for Jaywick to have its history and our heritage on these pillars like this. And I've waited all my life for this. Well done to the council and whoever did this. And welcome to a pillar that serves our community. Shine on to the Jaywick Sands history. Shine on to the Jaywick Miniature Railway. And shine on to Jaywick itself. Love ya.